I rarely finish games, but I finished this one. It's called Hollow Body. It'll cost you 15 to 20 bucks on Steam, depending on the day. It's made by a one-man band. It is survival horror. It is clearly inspired by Silent Hill 2, more than Resident Evil in terms of enemy encounters. Uh, more of a mood piece, although there's some action. There's definitely some puzzles and exploration. It's good. It's not great. But I finished it, which is weird because there are definitely greater games and greater horror games that I don't finish. And I want to talk briefly about the game and then I want to tell you why I think it is that this game compelled me to complete it. It's a very interesting setting. It's strange. Uh, it's set in the future. It starts, well, it starts very weird because it starts like you're this team on a beach exploring some kind of event that's occurred. You're all wearing these radiation suits and then it cuts to the future or it doesn't cut to the future but it suddenly reveals that we are in the future very blade runnery sci-fi what have you and you played this woman that you see on your screen here if my head would get out of the way and she's out and about uh trying to find her friend her partner her uh love interest we don't really know who was on that research team and has vanished and it's odd because it's clearly could be set in the 60s if you look at it except little weird things here and there that make it clear it's set in the future there's even a there's parts where i wonder if this woman's on a damn robot like a replicant um, they don't touch on that specifically as far as i can tell it's a weird game uh when you get into the narrative uh maybe it demands a couple of playthroughs or some real deep dives into it because by the time you get to the ending it's I, I don't want to oversell it. I'm like, it's Kojima like, but it's Kojima like, and that you're like, what, the, what is this about? I don't know if I understand this game. Uh, and, and that's cool. I like when games are kind of a little bit Lynchian and you're like, what, wait, you know, I can't quite tell if the game's really smart and it's about me needing to go back and really parse it and think through it. Or if it's just like very tropey and trying to be like, Ooh, she was this or that all along. You know, I, I don't know yet, but I do like it. Um, the puzzles are really good. They're not brilliant, but they're really good. It feels like a great throwback to PS2 era horror. Um, the enemy designs, eh. The the world, you know, it, it's 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 not very like if you really drill down, it's not the most inspired thing on the planet. It's 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 kind of a love letter to that era, um, but it's still good. It's it's good meat, but it's like one of those horror movies you go see in the theater, and it's like. It's not a classic. It's not a piece of crap, but you're glad you saw it. It's like a good matinee horror movie, you know, and you're like, oh, yeah, it's, yeah, it's fun. That was a good, I enjoyed, I played this, took me about six hours. I'm slow. Most people seem to be finishing it in four, but you know, um, oh, look at that. This lady got, I, I found the bow, could never find any arrows. It's good. It's solid. Just as a straight up game, I would rate it a, a seven and a half, um, I think there are better games out there to play, but there is one thing this game does well that a lot of games don't do, and it's the main reason I finished it. Probably the only reason I finished it. I do think what it has in common with Resident Evil, the remakes especially, is it's just paced well. And I don't just mean like narrative with cutscenes because it doesn't have a lot of that, but it it it's compelling. It starts with this research team. You're like, what? And then suddenly you're in Blade Runner cyberpunk and you're like, what? And then suddenly she's in this world and you're like, wait, wh where is this going? And then these phone calls start and uh, you start to question, wait, what is this reality? Who is this woman? And then stuff starts to happen when she gets to a subway station and stuff starts to happen. There's a church and there's an underground part of the church. And it's it, it feels like it's actually written you know what it feels like? It feels like a, a good airport novel. You know, those the, the you read it, you can read it in two hours on your flight. It just moves. And I appreciate that. And that's what dragged me through it. And again, I don't mean it moves like, oh, I'm so compelled by the story, although I was. But it was more just like things are happening. You know, she's discovering things. The setting is changing. There's mystery to the story. Like, what is this about? She's finding some new weapons, not a lot of monsters, but you, you know, the, you, you discover a couple new ones as you go. There's this whole weird little subplot with this guy that you find on top of a building. I won't get into it. I don't even understand what the hell that's about, but it's just like the director, the writer, the creator of this seems like he's like, I'm going to entertain you. 
you know, it's like a magician. It's, it's like, let me show you this and look over here and look over here and look, you know, it, it seems very guided, but not linear, boring guided, but it, it seems like it really is well paced and well written in that sense. And so that's why I finished it. I wanted to see where it was going. I don't know where, what this game's about. I really don't. I can't, like I said, I need to figure out if I want to spend some time and really dig into another playthrough and go, wait, okay, what am I missing here? But I do like it. I do like it. It's, it's good. It's solid. And it's wonderfully paced. Do I recommend it? I mean, <sighs> there's just too many other things to play. I, if you're a designer and you're thinking about making a game like this or something, I very much recommend it. It's a one man band. It's really cool that one person can make this kind of stuff. I like very much the pacing of it, but if you're just like, Hey, I'm in the mood for a great horror game. Eh, I mean, most people have backlogs the size of their fucking, you know, arm. What? Um, who's got time to just play something that's, you know, uh, I, you know, it's fine. It's got some really cool things about it that I like a lot. But as a overall experience, it's a good solid seven and a half. If that's what you're in the mood for, uh, uh, pick it up. If this was on Game Pass or if this, you know, if somebody starts a, a if Shutter starts a streaming horror game service, which I think would be awesome, this is a great weekend play. It's a great rental. I don't, I, you know, 15 bucks, probably not. But it, 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 there's a lot to love about it though. And, uh, it's impressive in a lot of ways. It may be even more impressive. I'm going to do, I'm going to spend some time thinking about it. Maybe I'll do a real deep dive. And if, if I'm like, oh my God, this is genius. Uh, I'll let you guys know. Like it could be, it could be David Lynch or it could just be tropey. Like, Ooh, isn't that spooky? And I'm like, eh, I don't know what it is yet. Be well, be safe. This is called hollow body. It's good stuff. Seven and a half out of 10 and, uh, really well paced. And so I finished it. More games should be like Hollow Body in regards to that.